What is up, Keto Campers? I'm excited to be on this live stream with you. And I'm going to share some simple swaps that you can make at the grocery store that will make, oh, oops, that will make a huge difference for you. Let me just make sure this is live streaming correctly because I'm using the laptop today. I got some slides to share with you. So let me actually get into those slides. Actually, before I do, I want to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. I am grateful for you. Uh, this call is going to be very important for anybody who's confused about what to buy at the grocery store. What's the healthiest oils to cook with? What are the temperatures to cook with? What are the toxic oils? What about your cookware? And some simple swaps. So uh, can you please let me know if you can hear me well and you can see me well, give me a thumbs up or just say yes so I know that I'm coming in good. I'm going to also answer any questions you might have for me. I see Janie, John, Rob, Final Touch. Manjit, Deb, and Believer Girl. I love seeing so many regulars on here. And I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, awesome. I see the yes coming in. Thank you so much. Let me make sure my I could share my screen and you could see what I'm looking at here. Do you see my slides in three, two, one? Could you let me know if you're looking at the slides that I see, which is what oils you should cook with? Do you see this slide? Let me know in the comment section with the Slides. If you see the slides, put in slides in the comment section, and I'll make sure that this is being shown before I continue. Type in slides if you see it. Oh, I see some Floridians. Okay, great. Thank you, Rachel. Let me know that she can see it. And Miss K always in the house. Awesome. I see it. Slides. Okay. So how do you know which oils you should cook with? Let's get into that. Because when we hear the word keto, I'm doing keto, I had a friend do keto. Not all keto approaches are the same. Keto is not a cookie cutter approach. Your health is not a cookie cutter approach. There are different ways to do keto. So when somebody says I've done keto, it really doesn't mean much to me because there's so many different ways to do it. There are unhealthy ways, aka dirty keto, and then there's healthy ways, aka clean keto. So let's talk about dirty keto. Let's talk about the oils that I want you keto campers to avoid as much as possible. So let's talk about the oils that are toxic. These are what I call liquid death, and they're going to be vegetable oils. So if you have a pen and paper ready, please write these down. These are the eight oils that you should avoid all the time as much as possible because they create cancer, they create inflammation, they create heart disease. These are going to, these are going to be canola oil, corn oil, rape seed oil, cotton seed oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, peanut oil, and sunflower oil. Those are the top eight we want to avoid. As a matter of fact, this is going to be an alarming stat that I've shared a few weeks ago on a live stream. I'm going to share it again in case somebody was not on that live stream. And I'm going to ask you the question. If, if you don't know the answer, um, please guess. But if you know the answer, do not guess. Because I want to make sure I'm only reaching the people who don't know this answer yet. What do you think the statistics are for somebody who has smoked two packs of cigarettes every day for 20 years in a row? What are the chances, percentage-wise, of that person getting cancer? Two packs of cigarettes, 20 years in a row, two packs of cigarettes every day for 20 years. What are the percentages do you think of that person for getting cancer? Drop a percentage in the chat box. I'm curious to see your, your guesses. What do you think their percentage is? Drop it down in the chat box. Let's see what you think. So Yanella says 80%. Kim says 35%. We have Gary in the house. What's up, Gary? We have uh, Fine Art from California. Believer Girl says 50%. Janie says 50%. LA for dreams. Hello, Rob. Hello. They say 75 and 60%, 78%, 25%. Right. These are some good guesses. All right. This, the answer is going to shock you. 40%, 30%, 65%. So here's the answer. 16%. One, six, 16%. I know it sounds alarmingly low, and I'm not saying you should smoke a cigarette because the stats are low, but let's compare this to vegetable oils. And I want you to guess again, what do you think the percentage is of a person getting cancer or and or 
heart disease if they had cooked vegetable oils, what I just mentioned, they see the screen in front of you, for every day for 20 years. What are the percentage of that person who's having cooked vegetable oils every single day for 20 years developing cancer and or heart disease? Put that percentage, what do you think it is down below? Yeah, seriously, that's crazy, a crazy stat. That's from Brian Peskin, who I interviewed on the Keto Camp podcast. It'll be inter uh, released soon. So we have the guessing for the vegetable oils, 85%, 85%. 65%, 90%, 68%, 55%, Amanda. John Davis says 74, Kim says 90, Janie says 25%, 75% says Yanellis. Okay, here's the answer. Vegetable oils, if you were to consume vegetable oils every day for 20 years, your chances of getting cancer and or heart disease is, drum roll please, 86%. 86%. Some of you were close. I had a 90% or 85%. 86%. So let's compare that. Smoking a cigarette every day, two packs a day for 20 years, 16% chance of cancer. Eating cooked vegetable oils every day, 20 years, 86% chance. Look, I'm not advocating cigarette smoking at all. My point here is to show you how dangerous these vegetable oils are. When you see them on sale at your grocery store, I want you to think of cancer. I want you to think of liquid death. It goes into your cells. It goes around your cell membrane, and your cells can't clear that for up to five months. A study showed five minutes of pleasure eating a plate of French fries cooked in vegetable oils, canola oil, resulted in 132 days of cellular dysfunction. I'd much rather eat sugar all day than vegetable oils because at least you could burn off sugar. You cannot burn off vegetable oils. So we want to make sure we're avoiding these cancerous oils. Let's talk about my top three favorite cooking oils, okay? Let's talk about the top three favorite cooking oils. Here they are. First of all, when it comes to cooking oils, it was once believed that smoke point was the deciding factor on whether or not oil was healthy. But new studies have come out, especially this comprehensive study that I talked about in this video, the healthiest keto cooking oil on my YouTube channel. I'll link for it down below when the video is done. A, and I'll put a, a little um, sound card, or not a sound card, a card for that video later on. A new study sure, showed, confirmed that smoke point is a poor way to assess the quality of a cooking oil. What's more important is something called polar compounds. Polar compounds. So what are polar compounds? Polar compounds are produced after an oil has been heated. And it turns out that polar compounds are what cause disease. They cause inflammation. They cause weight loss resistance. So these three oils, the study showed, produce the least amount of these compounds, polar compounds. Number one, olive oil. Olive oil is my favorite cooking oil, even though it has a lower smoke point. When you're cooking with the real olive oil that's high in antioxidants, high in polyphenols, that's protecting it even when it's smoking. So olive oil actually showed the highest, or I should say the least amount of these polar compounds, which scored the highest score in this comprehensive study. You got to keep in mind though, when I say olive oil, I'm talking about real extra virgin, cold processed, organic olive oil. Most of the stuff you're going to find at your grocery store, it's not this, okay? It's very hard to find the real deal. I get mine from a company called Fresh Pressed olive oil club and they hand pick these olive oil these olives and they put it into a bottle from different parts all across the world they're seasonally picked they're organic they're high in polyphenols and antioxidants and i get delivered three bottles per month to my door and here's how you could get them for a dollar if you want to try them out for a dollar head over to www.ketocampoliveoil.com to try them out here's the olive oil taste test have you heard me talk about this before on my podcast the olive oil you have right now in your kitchen or at home in your kitchen. When you get home, go to your cupboard, grab a tablespoon of your olive oil and drink it. If it burns your throat, makes your tongue a little fuzzy, that's a great sign that it's loaded and rich in polyphenols and antioxidants. But if it's the opposite, if it goes down smooth, chances are it's rancid. So do the olive oil test and then get this olive oil for a dollar over at www.ketocampoliveoil.com. Secondly, 
is coconut oil. And I recommend you rotate your oils. Everything in nature should be cyclical. Don't stick with the same oil long term. Maybe you do a month of olive oil and then a month of coconut oil. Always rotate the oils or you mix it up here and there. I love olive oil, excuse me, coconut oil because it's loaded in saturated fat. Your brain loves saturated fat. Your cells, your cell membrane is made up of saturated fat. Saturated fat is not the bad guy. It is critical to your sex hormones. It's critical to longevity, to health, to feeling good, to getting amazing results on your keto journey. So there's are, there are special considerations if you have that APO4 gene, but that's a small percentage of the population. So any organic, raw, unrefined uh, coconut oil is a great option for you, keto campers. And then third is, avoca- is yeah, avocado oil. I like Primal Kitchen. It's a great oil for high heat. I'm curious, which one out of these three are your favorite? I see people saying, I see Janie says, I love coconut oil, avocado. So which one is your favorite? Put it down in the chat box. I'm curious to know. Uh, Butter is also good. Butter and grass-fed ghee. Grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee are also some, some good options for you as well. But always mix it up. Mixing it up is always a good idea. You always want to change things up as well as your supplements as uh, along with the oil. So Gary likes avocado oil. I do too. It has a good taste to it. Coconut oil and butter. Awesome, Rachel. I, I'm, I'm fasting right now. I'm getting, my, I'm getting hungry. My, my hunger hormone ghrelin is going up thinking about all these oils. I love coconut. That's my favorite. Oh, I love all but coconut. Got it. Evo, extra virgin olive oil. I love coconut oil. Cool. Steven's in the house. Yanellis likes coconut oil. Miss K, olive oil and avocado oil. <laughs> coconut emoji. Love it. Butter. Cool. So now that you understand the oils, let's move on to some other things you can do. Uh, oh, by the way, here is the fresh pressed olive oil club that I was mentioning. You could get your first bottle. You could try them out for just a buck. A $39 bottle you could get for a buck if you head to ketocampoliveoil.com. I'm telling you, they are the real deal. I've been using their olive oil for over a year now, and it is delicious, loaded with polyphenols and antioxidants. And if you add olive oil to your blueberries, by the way, and you could have some blueberries on keto, just you know, a limited amount, the olive oil could help you absorb more of the antioxidants. Almond oil is also a good option. It's not my top three favorite, but it is a good option. It's not a toxic oil. I'm fasting too. Nice. Who else is fasting on here? Put fat, hashtag fasting if you're, if you're fasting like me right now. At this very moment, are you fasted? I'm probably going on Let's see, I ate my last meal at 7 p.m. yesterday, and it's 12, 16 p.m., so that's about 17 hours, 18 hours fasted right now for myself. Let's let's talk about, oh, I see some fasters on here. We have Rachel's fasting, Believer Girl's fasting, Laura's in the house, she's fasting. Awesome. Kim, I know that you're fasted. Deb's fasted. Hey, if you're getting value from this right now, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video. I see that there's 58 people watching right now, uh, 60 uh, as a matter of fact. And now there's only 17 thumbs up. So if you're getting value from this, please hit thumbs up so you can let YouTube know that this is a good video to show to more people so we can impact more lives here on Keto Camp. We're we're on a mission to educate 1 billion people. And anytime you hit the thumbs up or share this video with a friend, it helps accomplish that mission to let the world know about these ancient healing strategies, keto fasting, and all the things that we talk about here. So uh, I appreciate that thumbs up. I see it up to 25 now, so thank you so much. When it comes to the cookware that you're using, it's important to have the right cookware. Uh, we want to make sure we're avoiding the toxic stuff out there. The main issues with traditional bakeware like nonstick and aluminum is that they can leach hormone-disrupting chemicals and even heavy metals into your foods. When you have heavy metals enter your body, it creates inflammation around your cells and your cell membrane, and then it's difficult for your fat-burning hormones to get in. When you have inflammation around your cells, it's hard to lose weight. You get weight loss resistant. So we want to make sure we're doing a good job with our cookware. I know it costs more money to do this stuff, but it's also a good investment. The best investment you can make is in your health because your health is your true wealth. So you want to avoid Teflon. PFOA, PTFE, or any tr- traditional nonstick. Avoid cookware containing aluminum. I like this company here. This is my favorite, Extrema. Uh, they're not cheap. I'll tell you that right now. But if you could make the investment, maybe you get it as a Christmas gift 
or Black Friday, you tell your partner you want this. They make great products. They make great cookware. And I only cook with Extrema. So check them out. Uh, I think it's Extrema.com or just Google them. Runner up is cast iron skillet. But if you're a male, I do not recommend cast iron skillet because males typically have high iron levels. And if you cook in cast iron skillets, it'll increase it even more. So women cast iron are great. Male, not so much. Awesome. LA for dreams for dreams just broke the 20 hour fast. I love it. And we have Barbara in the house. Awesome, Barbara. Good to have you. Barbara is in my keto camp inner circle. Awesome. 12 hour fast just came off of it. I love it. Is it okay to drink Himalayan pink salt and fasting? Absolutely. And I highly recommend you do that. All right. Let's talk about some simple grocery swaps. This is going to be great for you to just go to the grocery store this week and make sure you make these swaps. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it right now. First of all, before I get into these swaps, please hit the thumbs up button. I'm going to ask you again because only half of you have hit it. And also, who on here right now on the Keto Camp YouTube channel is on here for the first time on my live stream? Who's on the live stream for the first time? Put first timer in the comment section. First timer so we could all say hello to the first timers on here and welcome you and acknowledge you for being on the YouTube channel, the Keto Camp YouTube channel. I would love to acknowledge you. So if you're a first timer on here, please hit first timer as I take a sip of my Purity coffee beans with grass-fed ghee. Delicious. Hey, Nick Diamico. Diamico. What's up, Nick? Thanks for coming on here for the first time. Amber, John Davis. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome for the first time. Richard, hello. HS, what's up? Deb says, first timer catching you live. What's up, Deb? Jax, hello. Good to see you. Welcome, everybody. All... Everybody, welcome these first timers. Say welcome, welcome, welcome. The Keto Camp community is growing strong, and I'm grateful for all of you. Ray, welcome. Legacy, Manjit, Linda, hello, hello, hello. Neil, Nelly, thanks for how it's great to have you on here. Thanks for joining. I, I want to take this time to say thank you so much for carving out part of your day to be on this live stream with me. Or if you're watching the replay, I want to acknowledge you as well because there's so many channels you could be on right now. There's so many things you you could been doing. And I'm grateful that you chose to be on this channel at this very moment. I'm grateful for you. And I have some simple grocery swaps for you to make that'll make a big difference in your health. Hey, Lindsay, good to see you. I see you on there. Thank you so much, Final Touch Gels. I appreciate that. All right, let's get into these swaps. Mayonnaise. Both of these are keto, but only one of them is healthy. Hellman's mayonnaise is not healthy. By the way, even if you see on the cover of that, that label of, of a mayo that it says made with olive oil, because you see that sometimes with Hellman's, they still include vegetable oils with it. You got to read the ingredients. I would steer clear of Hellman's. You don't want to contribute to these companies that are adding toxic food into our grocery stores. So avoid Hellman's. If you have Hellman's in your kitchen right now, do an audit, throw it out. And instead... Primal Kitchen. How many of you use how many of you use Primal Kitchen products? Put Primal Kitchen if you use them. Type in Primal Kitchen. Oh, or you can even make your own mayo like Believer Girl. That's even better. Primal Kitchen is great. They do not use vegetable oils. They use avocado oil. They are soy and canola free. They use cage-free eggs. They are organic. Mark Sisson created that um, company. Rachel uses it. Hey, Linda, first timer. Rob uses it. Of course you use it, Rob. You're, you're, a, you're a keto de detective, aren't you? Cool. So just make sure the veganaise does not have um, vegetable oils in it. Because sometimes even if it says made with olive oil, it could still include vegetable oil. Just be diligent about that. Shane, Primal Kitchen, Barbara, I know you do. Not available in SA. Where is SA? Read every label now. I make my own. Cool. Primal Kitchen. I love it. Yeah, I used to love Hellman's too until I found out. Cool. All right. Let's get into the next swap here. Primal Kitchen makes this next swap again. I have no, um, I'm not affiliated with Primal Kitchen. I am not, I am affiliated with Amazon. And if I share a link on Amazon, it's an affiliate link. And that's the only way. But I have no stock in Primal Kitchen. They just make a great product. So Wishbone 
toxic. Most vegetable oils out there, even Newman's own organic has sometimes has vegetable oils. So Primal Kitchen, you know, you're getting a toxic free product. So this is the second swap I want you to make for your salad dressings. The third one, Primal Kitchen made the cut again. I would avoid Heinz, although I think Heinz just bought Primal Kitchen or they did earlier this year, I think. Either way, Primal Kitchen is the way to go. And always look at the ingredients. Next, these are for your keto flex days. So if you're doing the keto diet the way I teach it, we do keto strict short term for a few months, and then we start flexing in and out, which you'll learn more on the Keto Camp Academy. So this is for your keto flex days, not if you're just getting into keto, I would avoid all chips altogether. But if you had the option between Lay's and the three options on the right, choose the options on the right. Siete makes a great brand right there. It's grain-free, vegetable oil-free. The nacho one is great. It has nutritional yeast in it. Jackson Honest has a good one with coconut oil and Paleo Puffs from Lesser Evil. Those are the ones I would go with. And then healthier nuts. When you're buying your nuts at the grocery store, like Whole Foods, stay away from the bulk bins. The bulk bins that you scoop out and then you put into a bag, Stay away from that. Don't follow that trend because usually those bulk bins, they're always being opened and closed. So more oxygen is getting into the bulk bins. Mold is growing. Uh, nutrients are being lost. We don't know what kind of bacteria is being distributed with people's hands going in there. So I would avoid the bulk bin and always get sealed bags. And if you're buying nuts, walnuts and seeds and uh, macadamia nuts are better than cashews. Cashews, a lot, sometimes people have difficult digesting it. So I'd make the swap to walnuts, macadamia nuts, even peely nuts. Uh, I like those better. Yeah, if they're individually packaged, that's better. Just make sure it's um, go with uh, unsalted, not unsalted, go with raw and organic. Raw and organic is always best. Okay, those were some simple swaps. I want to make sure I answer your questions here. So let me stop this share. And hello. Let's see. What questions do you have for me? Shane says, I had psoriasis for 30 years and with keto and fasting, I feel great. No longer have to get any symptoms. Thank you. That's awesome. That's amazing. Congratulations on that. What else do we have? I hope Heinz doesn't disrupt the healthy aspect of Primal Kitchen. You know, Mark Sisson made sure that they won't do that, John, and I had the same concern. And he addressed that saying that they'll keep the integrity of that product. Uh, but I have the same concern as you. What questions do you have for me? I might've missed some as I was reading your slides. Deb says, we have organic Heinz and it doesn't list anything, but it does say natural flavoring. That must be where it's at. I don't think that's vegetable oil, but I don't know what the natural flavor is. It could be, it can mean so many things. So the best bet is to go with Primal Kitchen. Doesn't ghee disrupt your fast? Yeah, so it does. However, it depends, Rob. If you, my definition of breaking a fast is when you raise glucose and insulin, and that means your autophagy has stopped. So when I have ghee and coffee, it does not raise glucose and insulin. So I've tested. So technically, I'm not breaking the fast. With that being said, you'll get the most benefits from a water fast, but I have my fatty coffee in the morning. And I, I drink that with some salt, sea salt. And I usually don't break my fast till around 3 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Is copper cookware safe? No, I'm not a fan of copper cookware. Copper is not, um, you don't want that in your body. We have carb manager, says Janie. And have tried to follow the low carb in that. We also shop at Costco and have been trying to watch labels. Labels are so deceptive. Awesome, Janie. Well, good job just doing your diligence. And labels are very deceptive. I agree. Keto flexing. Keto flexing. So I have a video all about keto flexing. I'm going to go into detail in my Keto Camp Academy, by the way. And I'll explain what keto flexing is in a second, uh, Deborah. The Keto Camp Academy. I know many of you want to be a founding member. The Keto Camp Academy has 70 videos officially uploaded, professionally edited and uploaded and categorized in the Academy. It's not available yet. It'll be available in about seven to 10 days. It's going to be $39 per month for the Keto Camp Academy. However, the first 100 members, I'm calling you the founding members of the Keto Camp Academy. You get grandfathered in for $27 per month. 
for every single month you are a member and you could cancel anytime. So I have a question for you. If you want to be one of the founding members, I want you to type in founding member. If you're interested in becoming one of the first 100 founding members, type in founding member. And uh, I just want to see your interest on that. It'll be available in seven to 10 days. So stay tuned for that. Keto flexing is when you intentionally get out of ketosis to teach your body that it's not starving and to continue with your results. That is around the three or four month mark after going keto. But that's not for everybody. If you have insulin resistance, you stay in ketosis longer. Uh, I'm going to teach more about that in the academy. So I see that Deb wants to be a founding member. Rachel, Deborah, uh, Glory, Rob, and Amber. That's awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Mike says I'm cutting in and out. Is that happening for everybody or is that just you, Mike? Uh, let me know. I'm curious to know if it's my end or on Mike's end. Awesome, Janie. I see that. I see that. I also have a video on my YouTube channel, the Keto Camp YouTube channel, which is called Four Ways to Master Keto and Fasting. So if you're interested in learning more about keto flexing, I have four options to do keto flexing on my YouTube channel. So go check that out. Okay. It's just Mike. Yeah, Mike, it's your, it's your internet. Probably. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. So believer girl. Yeah. If you have insulin resistance, you stay strict until you start re reversing that and it goes away. Then you start flexing. Yeah. Flexing would be better for the holidays. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what other questions do you have for me before I sign off here? Let's see. We don't drink coffee. Is there anything, is there any other way to kickstart in the morning? MCT oil, perhaps. Yeah, I like something called my keto cocktail. My keto cocktail is 16 ounces of water first thing in the morning with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of sea salt, and a pinch of cream of tartar. That's a great way. Actually, I would avoid the cream of tartar if you are fasting, but that's a great way to get in electrolytes. And you could also throw in a tablespoon. I would probably do a teaspoon of MCT oil. That'll be a great way to kickstart the morning. After six months, strict keto, should I start flexing now with 100 pounds to lose? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've done an insulin resistance test, but LA for Dream, maybe you. that sounds like a good idea if you've been six months strict keto. First of all, I acknowledge you. That's a lot of discipline. I recommend Keto Mojo as a blood meter, Dennis. Would you guys like to see a sneak peek at the Academy? I actually could pull it up on my screen for you right now. Do you want to see? Put yes. Just type in yes if you want to see a sneak peek at the Academy. I'll show it to you right now. Barbara says, I've seen a preview of Keto Camp Academy, and it's amazing. Lots of great info. She's in my inner circle, so she already has access to it. Okay, let me show you a sneak peek at this bad boy. So first and foremost, let me pull it up before I share the screen. Great. So here is a sneak peek of the Keto Camp Academy. This is what it looks like when you're logged in. It's going to be an amazing platform for only $27 a month. That is crazy good if I don't say so myself. So you're going to have, this is all coming soon. I haven't built that out yet. So for anybody starting keto, this is going to be a, or if you've fallen off keto, if you want to get back into it, there's a 28 day keto jumpstart in here. And it gives you all the videos. These are all videos that you will not find on the YouTube channel. They're all professionally edited and recorded. So you find exact one week, one to week four structure. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. It has all these videos Three ways to enter keto quicker, uh, keto convenience foods, keto approved beverages, how to test for ketones, how do you know if you're in, in ketosis, how to, do how to practice intermittent fasting the right way. And then we have um, the ketogenic diet, the most common questions answered for you in a video format. Fasting, the most, I answered the top 20 questions on fasting answered for you. And then we have Fat Loss 101, which there's going to be a lot more videos added to this. There's going to be a section on how to test for ketones and glucose, the advanced version. Mastering Sleep, there's going to be a section all about sleep. 
there's going to be this section right here is my favorite, which is the self-development section. You watch one or two videos from here. It'll keep you inspired each day to keep going and getting results. So the self-development I call mental six pack section is great. There's a lot of great inspirational videos on here. Uh, there's going to be a bonus area, which has all these documents. You're going to get a keto recipe uh, book that I sell for $97 as part of your membership. You're going to get my best-selling book for free, my fasting cheat sheet for free, a keto grocery shopping list for free, my keto kickstart guide, which most of you have already, and then a keto convenience foods. You click these and it downloads for you automatically. And then if you go to this second page, you're going to get all about intermittent fasting, which is going to come soon. I haven't developed it yet. There's going to be fitness videos for you and program workouts. There's going to be how to use essential oils, a section all about toxicity, advanced keto strategies. So this is for somebody who has been doing keto and they want to take it to a pro level. I'm going to teach you everything I know about keto. There's going to be an advanced section for fasting, how to travel and stay bulletproof on the road. And then I'm going to have exclusive interviews from people like Dr. Berg, Dr. Jason Fung. Ken Berry, Ben Greenfield, Dave Asprey, um, and a bunch of other people that are going to be exclusive interviews for this section of the Keto Camp Academy. And you'll learn more about it soon. It'll be launched in about seven to 10 days. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? What do you think of the uh, Academy? Looks awesome. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so glad that you all are excited about it, just like I am. I need to run off here. I have a coaching call starting soon. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I know there's a lot of questions that I missed, uh, missed. Do me a favor. The questions that I missed, copy it right now. And when I close this video out, it's going to upload to my, my, um, my videos on my channel. Paste it in the comment section. And I'll go in and I'll type a response. I see one question here. The Keto Camp cocktail is 16 ounces of water, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of sea salt, and a pinch of cream of tartar. Okay, cream of tartar. No speaking gigs right now in the D.C. area, but that might change sometime soon. Tell Dr. Berg that I want to speak at his Keto Summit next year. I know that's in the D.C. area, John. I'm going to be speaking at Low Carb USA in... Um, January 15th through the 17th. If you go to lowcarbusa.org, you can learn more. And if you use Keto Camp at checkout, you'll get $100 off your ticket. I'm also I, potentially going to be speaking, possibly going to be speaking at KetoCon in 2020 in June in Austin, Texas. Is anybody in Texas on here right now? So KetoCon is a great event. And um, I'm potentially going to be speaking at KetoCon 2020 in Austin. Austin, Texas, this June 2020. So if you're in Texas in that area, I'd love to meet you. And if you're in South Florida, I do speaking gigs very frequently down here. Yeah, tell Dr. Berg that I want to speak at his at his summit. Dr. Berg's doing great work. Okay, I'm going to sign off here. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope this was valuable. If it was, hit the thumbs up right now. Share it with a friend. Share it with a family member. Share it with a coworker. Have an amazing rest of your day. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I go live on this channel. So set a reminder, be blessed, be great. And I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you.